American search engine company Google says it will block access to Canadian news content when the government's online news act takes effect at the end of the year. The law will require tech giants to strike deals with Canadian news outlets to pay for content. Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, will also block access to Canadian news for Canadian users. Earlier, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said Meta's ban threat was a bullying tactic and that his government would not back down. The CBC's David Thurton is in Ottawa with the reaction to the Google decision. Not a lot of people are surprised by the decision by Google to announce that it's going to be blocking Canadian news. We've seen other tech giants uh, take a similar move here in Canada and elsewhere. So uh, not a lot of people were surprised. A lot of people were expecting Google to announce that they were taking this move. And it's all in reaction, as you were saying, Natalie, to the government's online news app, which is an attempt by the federal government to help newsrooms out who, who have seen a lot of ad revenue migrate from their newspapers, from uh, their broadcast platforms, to these digital platforms that are controlled by places such as uh, Google and also Meta, the parent company that owns Facebook. In fact, they announced that they will be adopting a similar approach, blocking access to Canadian news. Google just confirming today uh, that it will be doing the same. We do have a statement from Google uh, saying that it is disappointed uh, that they have to make good on their threat. It goes on to say, in a blog post that the unprecedented decision to put a price on links, the so-called link tax, so they're talking about the government's legislation, creates uncertainty for our products and exposes us to uncapped financial liability simply for facilitating access to news from Canadian publishers. The web giant argues, Natalie, that it does not post full articles. It only posts links and snippets to news content. In fact, they say that they help publishers out, Canadian publishers, by driving millions of viewers, millions of readers to their website, and then these news organizations could charge their own ads. Google says it offered the government a number of ways, a number of solutions to help improve uh, their legislation, but they weren't listened to. Our understanding is that this news blackout from Google and other uh, tech giants won't roll out immediately. It will probably happen within the next six months uh, as the government develops the regulations to enact this legislation. Okay, so that's what Google is saying, but what about the government? What's the response been to this? Yeah, well, we heard some a reaction from Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez, who said that essentially these tech companies, like Google, making a lot of money. They are making huge profits right now, and it's time for them to uh, share that wealth with newsrooms that are having a tough time right now. Many are closing. A lot of journalists are losing their jobs. We also heard from uh, Finance Minister Christian Freeland just a while ago reacting to this news. Here's what she had to say. I don't think anyone should be surprised that it is challenging. Uh, we know the power of the U.S. web giants, and we know that there were always going to be tough moments. But I really believe that the way to get a good deal for Canadian journalism and for Canadians is to be firm, clear, polite, and at the end of the day to stand up for the national interest. So obviously the government, Natalie, is not backing down.